pay class, our group is Fernando Vasquez, Hector Garcia, Arturo Escamilla, and myself, Christopher Guzman. We chose the multi-core processor versus multiple processor architecture research subject. Intro. A processor is a logic circuitry that responds to and processes the basic instructions that drive a computer. The four primary functions of a processor are fetch, decode, execute, and write back. The motherboard and the OS need to recognize the processor and that there are multiple cores. The OS then tells the motherboard that a process needs to be done, and the motherboard then tells the processor. The basic elements of a processor are the arithmetic logic unit, or ALU, the floating point unit, or FPU, registers, and L1 and L2 cache memory. Basic elements of a processor. ALU carries out arithmetic and logic operations on the operands and instructions. FPU, specialized coprocessor that manipulates numbers more quickly than the basic microprocessor circuitry can. Registers, holds instructions and other data. Also supplies operands to the LLU and stores the results of operations. L1 and L2 cache memory help save time compared to having to get data from random access memory. Processor history. Before processors with multiple cores were built, people and companies such as Intel and AMD tried to build computers with multiple CPUs, which required motherboard, motherboards with more than one CPU socket. Multiple CPUs meant extra hardware, which meant more money had to be invested into a computer. Having multiple processors often meant that they were at a different location on the motherboard, and in this case, physical distance did in fact mean that the processor would be slower. Through time, technology rapidly improved and processors had to be made more powerful, so computer manufacturers came up with the concept called hyperthreading. Hyperthreading allows a single processor to act like two separate processors to the operating system and the applications that use it. The concept of hyperthreading came from Intel and was first conceived in 2002 on the company's Xeon server processor and later on its Pentium 4 desktop processors. After time, CPUs with multiple cores were able to be built. Processing speed was increased as well. It was done by shrinking the size of transistors, allowing more transistors in the same amount of space, improving performance. Multiple processor architecture. Multiple processor architecture is a more traditional approach to multiple processing that uses two or more processors on a single motherboard or set of interconnected motherboards. When multiple processors occupy a single motherboard, they share primary storage and a single system bus. When necessary, they can exchange messages over the system bus and transfer data by reading or writing to and from the primary storage. However, these exchanges are much slower than the exchanges between cores in, in multi-core architecture. Multiple processor architecture is common in mid-range computers, mainframe computers, and supercomputers. With multiple processor architecture, multiple programs can run in parallel and the OS can move them between processor to meet the changing needs. Multicore processor architecture. Current semiconductor fabrication techniques are capable of placing billions of transistors and their interconnections in a single microchip. The latest trend in high performance CPU design embeds multiple CPUs and cache memory on a single chip an approach called multi-core architecture, in which the term core describes the logic, computation, and control circuitry of a single CPU. Multi-core architectures typically share memory cache, memory interface, and off-chip I.O. circuitry between cores. This reduces the total transistor count and cost while offering some synergis synergistic benefits compared to separate CPUs on a single motherboard. Using multiple cores is also not just limited to multiple programs. For example, Google Chrome renders each new page with a different process, meaning that it can take advantage of multiple cores at once. Why have multiple core processors only been used since the mid-2000s? Until the mid-2000s, the only answer was cache memory, which yields substantial performance enhancements by helping overcome the speed differences between CPU circuitry and off-chip memory. As single chip transistor counts increased into the hundreds of millions, devoting the extra transistors entirely to cache memory began to yield fewer performance improvements because the performance benefit of larger caches is subject to rapidly diminishing returns. 
The latest trend in high-performance CPU design embeds multiple CPUs and cache memory on a single chip, which is an approach called multi-core architecture, in which the term core describes the logic computation and control circuitry of a single CPU. With future advances in semiconductor fabrication, more cores in a single micro microprocessor will be possible. These are the sources that we use for these research. Thank you.